When I write a book or, or I've made a couple of films on filmmakers, of course it's their visions I would like to try and capture. And uh, I mean, these are also visions on the world which um, I'm interested in, in knowing more about myself. When I show my two documentaries I, I made recently on Bergman, and I show them abroad outside Sweden. Uh, most people are amazed of the playfulness during the work uh, with Bergman. And uh, they never imagined he would be that kind of jolly figure. Art can come from suffering, of course, but uh, very much out of uh, joy and pleasure as well. It's an unusual um, Bergman film in some ways. He sets it in a war where you don't know which side is which. You just know that there is a war. And it's not about the combatants. You don't really know what the issues are or who the sides are. You just know that these people are in the middle of a war and uh, they don't really know what they're doing and the war changes them and they have to do things that they would never do uh, outside of that that strange situation of a war. It started maybe be with the first uh, com uh, book of conversations with Ingmar Bergman, which I did together with two uh, colleagues, two critics, in 1969. Then just by chance a, a publisher asked me if I wanted to do the same with Woody Allen. And uh, I had only met Woody at one occasion before, and I was at his office in New York and I saw that my book was on his bookshelf, my conversations with Bergman. I have my class with, uh, where I talk about Swedish cinema, and um, it's a very nice bunch of young students, and uh, the discussions are always very, very good after the films. Uh, have you been to these settings? I think you will get uh, ideas for a storyboard when seeing the settings also because maybe you want to start at one of these places and just uh, it could be mysterious or just uh, uh, give us a kind of atmospheric background for, for your story. I think Lars von Trier is one of the most interesting filmmakers of today and one of the most daring because he changes very much. He goes from project to project with completely new ideas and, and a completely new way of, of looking on, on films and, and um, the way they are being made. Um, in the beginning, he, his films were very technical. You are led through carriages you never knew existed. During the making of Breaking the Waves, uh, they started to make a, docu a documentary on uh, the making of the film. And that was another film director who started it. But somehow he and Lars didn't uh, uh, get together very well. So he was fired and he asked me to continue and complete the picture. I think. The most uh, important thing for a filmmaker is to have a passion for 
the cinema for the subject he or she wants to um, talk to uh, talk about and show us and to get us to more know more about yeah passion <laughs>